All right. So hi, everybody. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> um, I don't even know if I'm releasing this to all of YouTube or not. If you see this on YouTube, then I guess I, guess I did. But um, I this is a video that we're just talking. This is Rob from Smirking Gun, blah, blah, blah. Um, I had a, a moment today just now and it's that kind of moment like when you wake up from a dream and you know you just feel like you got to write everything down and you got to say everything as soon as it's there because if you don't say it you're gonna it's gonna get diluted the memory is gonna you know change somehow and the retelling and the retelling and the retelling so if you get out and you spit it out there right away you can at least keep some sort of you know the original what was going on at the time moment and solidify it out there into the world so it's like march 5th 2024 4 50 p.m i just got home from work and i was driving home from work and i was just listening to music and and it was it was smashing pumpkins rocket was playing and that song played and ended and just typical ride home. And then Alice and James's love, hate, love comes on. And I'm driving past my dad's house for like the millionth time. Cause on my way to and from work, uh, I've got to drive past my dad's house. Um, any, if you know my channel at all, uh, and even if you if you don't know my channel, and if you do know my channel, this is kind of like news or whatever. But um, I, one of the things that kept me uh, that the, the, the content looks the way it does, or as inactive as it has been for a while, and now all of a sudden there's a resurgence in the channel is because there there was a lot of changes in my life. Uh, thanksgiving 2022 and uh i ended up my living con situation has changed and uh i had been i mean there's so many ways to say it man i was lit like like a lot of people now that have to i was sharing living space with my father my stepdad if you want to be really technical he's my adopted father and I paid full rent of the the complete like downstairs apartment, bathroom, all the other shit. And he took care of his shit. Basically, though, it was uh it was a really, really horrible, horrible, awful, toxic. Uh I don't know how I got sober there. But um I finally got out of there. I, I've, I've moved on and my life is, you know, as much as, you know, we can make jokes about the whole, you know, you're one of those people who lives in your parents' basement. Like I was, a, I'm a full professional who happened to live at home, but I was also at fault for being there mentally. I, I had been so fucked up mentally by this person and other situations in my life that I, I was, I, I knew this world. It, it's so, it's so fucked. Okay. But I finally got away from it. And it's taken a long time. And I, I mean, I was already noticeably better pretty much immediately. Like after a week or so, it was like, I don't know. The whole world changed. And then it, I got, I don't know. I got dis I, I got disillusioned really fast though, uh, about six months in. And I started kind of like reverting back to all those old kind of thoughts and ways of being that I was then. And I was feeling it crawl back, crawl back into my life, all these terrible feelings and just I was letting it all in again. And I've hence, like, again, 
the struggle is <laughs> the struggle with all kinds of things that happen. Uh, it's a constant fight. It's one of the reasons why I make content. Um, it's one of the reasons why I reach out to make and meet new people on here. All the, all these things are ways to help me socially and not just, you know, and, and mentally. Um, and so I've been able to find, you know, like my, I've been getting my voice back and, and things have been better. And, uh, but there's that drive back and forth, <laughs> that drive back and forth where I feel like I'm driving past like the, you know, the, the Edward Scissorhands house, you know, the place that nobody wants to go by the people that, you know, when you're walking by, you walk extra fast, you know, that place that just brings back that really bad memory and you got to go past it you know, sometimes more than twice a day. If you don't work, you don't have to, but if you need something in that direction, you're going to have to go past it again, you know, like, so there'd be times where I could go be past that house like four fucking times a day still. Just kind of always like, like pick, itching a scab four times a day, you know, picking at it. And this particular time, that song from Alice in Chains, Love, Hate, Love's Playing, and I go past the house and I'm talking all kinds of mad shit to myself in my head, you know. True stuff. You know, that like this, uh, you know, that behind that, the, 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 the walls of that house sits a man that judges everyone around him but himself. And this just sad, sad man that like does nothing, goes nowhere. He's damaged too, mind you. But I, the, you know, the, the sympathy card, when somebody's done so many awful things to you, you know, like it's just, you can only punch that card so many times, you know? And uh, before it's just, this is the person I allow myself to like, but I, I, I'm, I've got to work on my way to just moving past him and for like, for lack of better terms, like <sighs> forgive, not forget. But in the meantime, I was having a moment. <laughs> and in this moment, I was just like saying, you know, like, yeah, you're back there behind those walls, old man. You know, like thinking about if I had ever had to go up to his door again, you know, to like talk to him and have him just be smug. Like he always is in my face, try to like spew poison, man. He's like, he, as soon as he opens the doors he and he opens his mouth, he's like fucking Joffrey Baratheon. And he's just saying the most heinous shit that you could possibly think of. And just with a straight dead face, you know, like he's been sitting there with a loaded gun full of insults and shit to fire at you point blank in your face. You know, because he just wants to hurt because he hurts like he's he's created this situation where every everyone around him is gone and he's all by himself in this how this family home. And I'm driving past and I'm like, you know, yeah, that's right. You know, I go, you know, like I go places now. I live my life. I'm starting to live my life. I do things now. I'm not just sitting in my basement making fucking YouTube videos to like cope with the loneliness and the despair that I feel about my situation instead of doing something about it. And I was, it was in that fucking moment. Cause I wasn't, I, I have been going through some stuff again, even in this resurgence, because I have this, like there's this pull to just ruin everything. There's this pull to just say when something good starts to happen because I don't deserve good things that I have to destroy it. And I felt like I was, I've been on that path again where I haven't hit it yet, where I'm kind of fooling myself, but it's there. And it was like, all of a sudden I realized as this was my moment, I, and something that you know like everybody would be happy to hear like he finally got there for me it's a breakthrough but it's like i it, as soon as i say breakthrough it's like 
it was like it clicked in my head that it was the answer all along. I just wasn't letting myself. I was getting in my own way. And perhaps this is just, you know, uh, uh, this is just a feeling I need to keep writing, right? Because I, I know that this could easily be a muscle that atrophies really quickly if not acted upon. But it was like I suddenly realized that that's right. He is stuck behind those walls. And I was, I was thinking to myself, you know, about his father who died in 1999 of all kinds of things, man. The guy survived a lot, but something finally took him down in 99. And I was always afraid of the guy. Big surprise. Afraid of the son, afraid of the father. Afraid, I was afraid of all of them, actually, to be truly honest, except for the youngest of his brothers. He has like four or five. Like It's a big whatever. Um. And over the years, all that's left he's he's that my dad has is is he sits behind the walls of this house, his family home, that he's done everything under the sun in his power to keep the family home in the family name. So much that after being financially ruined, the house, house had been paid off. Uh, a family, uh, his, one of his brothers took him for everything they had. They put out mortgages on the house to pay this guy's debts. They never saw it back. They are all like the house is in just all kinds of fucked upness. They kept giving this guy money and he never paid it back and they never asked for it back. And now everything about it is like he's he's taking loan after loan after loan out for this house. And I'm telling you all this because it's just for to me, it's like exposition. Think of it as a story. And now all he has is this house that he sits in, that he owes all the best about all of his like <clears throat> money that he accrued from uh, what do you call it? <laughs> that I'm we're all uh, uh, social security. You know, almost all of it goes in juggling, paying off you know, the mortgage and the loans that he takes out and then just living. And he's just this, this horrible, horrible nightmare of a story of what happens when you stop living and you blame everybody else, but yourself for your problems. And, and that's not giving people who have fucked you up a, a pass. It's just that at some point you have to take responsibility still for yourself And which way you're going to go by in that taking responsibility. You're going to get worse. You're going to get better. And in thinking about like how I was like, I wanted, I wanted to say, you know, like his, your father would be so ashamed of you. I wanted to, that's the one thing I wanted to say. Like if I wanted to like hurt him really bad, you know, I wanted to just walk up to this man and say, you know, you kept the family house, but you lost the fucking family. The entire family is gone everyone every relative is gone no one wants to come here you have become that haunted house this really nice manicured house that you would never think is just this empty house devoid of life except one sad man the house used to be lit up with life families and all kinds of people that was the place to go there were so many gatherings there, and now it's just this like memorial to a broken, completely shattered, fractured family unit. Multiple families are involved in this, by the, by the way. So all there is is a house and a property that's only going to live long enough for him to pass away. And I thought, oh my God. Like, I am living. I'm so like, I'm so focused on thinking about like this guy's misery and what he's done to me, and how I'm still letting him control that. I'm still letting him win. He wants this. I think deep down, he there's a part of him that want doesn't want this. 
think the you know the Anakin side of Darth Vader, if you will, you know that little voice that's buried that knows that you've hurt your everyone around you, yet you just can't admit you're wrong. You just got to double down on everything. But that doesn't mean that I, that means doubly that I need to be living. That means that I I need to to every time I do something that I say I, I I'm a scared of doing. And I know is right when it, when you just know when you feel it that this is the right direction to go and you talk yourself out of it. Whatever it is, whether it's to get a fucking cup of coffee or go back to college or, you know, decide that you <laughs> want to come out of the closet or something, whatever it is. And it just it felt like I finally got out of my own way today. And I realized that I need to live. I need to live or, 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 or all that shit that I took, all this surviving I've done was for nothing. So I don't know what that means for like the future of like this kind of thing. Like, I'm not saying I'm suddenly like, peace out y'all. I don't need this anymore. But now that I feel like I can be less afraid about things. I might be on here less. I don't know. But I know that I, it finally it finally clicked in my head. Like somebody flipped on a switch. So anyway, if this helps anybody else, you can get there. And that's all I got. Be good to each other out there, everybody. Holy shit, what a day.